Hi everyone, this is Jack Eason with TrumpRepublican.News, TrumpRepublican.News. Well, today is October 2nd, and there's a huge event occurring across the country. It deals with a retired firefighter named Mark Taylor. And here is the Mark Taylor news. He has become known primarily through the Internet and a book he published called The Trump Prophecies. And now, today, is a movie that's being launched across the country called The Trump Prophecy or Prophecies. And let me tell you, folks, I've talked with Mark at length in many private conversations. This guy is the real deal. He came across a message that came from God, literally, back in 2011, that Donald Trump would become president of the United States. He wrote it down. And then, a few years later, as Trump announced, or was preparing to announce, it had to do with his doctor, who he gave his written documentation on what he had received. And that doctor then gave it to his wife. And the rest, I will say, is more or less history. A lot of people started to understand that the Trump prophecies were true. And indeed, President Trump did get elected. And so the Trump prophecies are true. And what Mark Taylor is sharing was what happened to him. In his book, he detailed out everything as to how he received this message and how he wrote it down. And he's had many other prophecies that have come true as well. But this one especially rang true to me when I first read it. And I want you to know that Mark Taylor is one heck of a guy. He is very humble and he is very much obedient to God's will. There will always be naysayers. There were even people that uh, didn't want to talk about Jesus, right? But Mark Taylor has moved it forward. He doesn't do speaking in a lot of churches or any of that thing. Mostly it's over the internet, YouTube, what have you, where other people just put up his prophecies. And if, But if you want a good one, I would go to Greg Hunter. Greg Hunter has interviewed Mark many times in depth. And Mark is always consistent with what happened to him and how the things have come true about President Trump. Now, I don't believe Mark has ever met, talked, corresponded, or had any communication directly with President Trump in any way, shape, or form. And that's the beauty of it. A regular guy, God tapped and said, here you go. God bless you.